So, it's amazing to be alive, right? Yes, and I give God all the glory for the gift of life. Uh, hello, friends, and how are you doing today? I believe you're doing fine, and you are welcome to your favorite gospel TV show, Gospel Blaze. On the show, it's all about God, it's all about gospel, and of course, it is 100% Niger on the show, and I'm super excited to have you with me today. I am your host, Miranda Alete, and for the next 30 minutes, I promise you, it's going to be interesting. But I need you to open up your heart, your body, and your soul. And let the musical videos minister to you. Let the word from our motivational verse for the week today, let it motivate you. Our gospel digest, make sure it inspires you. A singing first on the show today is Wisdom K, and he is singing, I Love You. This particular video talks about the love of God for you and I, and of course, how much he himself, Wisdom King, loves God Almighty. Enjoy that video, and I'll be right back on the show. This is Gospel Blaze. Oh, <laughs> 
that video, I love you by Wisdom K. Now, you might be feeling that no one loves you. You might be feeling all alone in the world. You don't have to feel that way because God loves you so much. And he is a friend that you can call on every single time. Singing next on the show today is Adele and she is singing beautiful. I'm sure you want to find out what the video talks about. Go ahead and watch that video and I'll be right back on the show. became a man that man might be the sons of God and how do I describe how glory swallowed shame and instead of shame you gave a crown I look at me I see you and it's a wonder to my soul your love for me, I can't explain I look at me, I see you This is what your grace has done Your love for me, I can't describe Your beautiful
beautiful video from a beautiful female gospel artist talking about how beautiful God is and you know that God has created you so beautiful. Don't not, do not allow anyone to tell you that you are not beautiful because God created you out of his own likeness and image. You can imagine how beautiful God is. That's exactly how beautiful you are. It is time for our Gospel Digest. Why don't you join me as we find out what the Gospel Digest holds for you and I today on the show. I'll be right back. Very, very inspiring, motivating word today on our Gospel Digest from C.S. Lewis. Hmm, wow. I'm not sure I'm going to forget that in a long, long time. Okay, so let's join another amazing indigenous gospel artist who goes by the name Boma Echendu. Now she's singing to God Almighty with this song titled Equime. I love the video. Do enjoy that video and I'll be right back. Remember, it's all about God. It's all about gospel on the show and we keep you focused on God.
equipment. Definitely, he is the top and do God. Once God says he will do something, he will definitely do it. Okay, so it is time for our motivational verse for the week as we join Pastor Gabriel Anya. And today, I'm just going to let you in on what he will be speaking to you about. He'll be speaking about depression. Now, if you take a look at the world today, so many people are committing suicide. And he said, come on, Ophelia, let's educate people. Let's motivate the people with the Word of God and let them know what depression is all about, the causes, and of course, how to overcome it. Make sure you have your pen and your jotter because that's what what I'm about to be right now, taking off my jota and my pen, and I'm going to scribble something down. I hope you do the same. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Good evening, viewers. I'm Pastor Gabriel Ayan. I want to talk on the topic that says depression. I'll be talking about the causes of depression and how to overcome it. And the test will be taken from the book of Psalm 33 from verse 6. And the Bible said that this poor man cried, and the Lord had him, and delivered him out of all his troubles. So many people are passing through depression, never knew how they would come out of that depression. But if you put God the way this poor man put God, your depression will be away. And what is the causes of depression, and how to overcome it? Number one, what causes depression? What causes depression is disappointment. Disappointment can come in any way, but if you put your trust in God, you will overcome depression. Anytime you are depressed, always see God to be the end of that depression. Always see your tomorrow to be better than today. We suffer because we always see our today. Depression remains because we see our today. If we can see that depression, that tomorrow we will not see you again. It means that depression will go forever. There is one particular man that suffered in the Bible. He suffered for 38 good days in the Bible. But when Jesus Christ came, Jesus removed him out of all his trouble. That man suffered because of depression in John chapter 5 verse from verse 5 to 9. The man suffered depression. He was in the sea of Bethsaida for good 38 years. There was no help. But one day he expected that when Jesus come, his help will be over. And that that is good at eight years. Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? And the man said, there is no one to help me. Anytime they see Tom Rand, there is no one that comes for my help. And Jesus asked him, do you want to be healed of your impotency? And immediately when Jesus laid hand, Jesus laid hand. And that man was immediately healed of his infirmities. Anytime we are depressed, we should look unto Jesus. Number two, what causes depression? Poverty. Poverty is one of the things that causes uh, depression. Anytime you are depressed, anytime you are depressed of poverty, still look on God. Be courageous. Have hope that that depression will be over. If you read the book of Psalm, if you look in that uh, poverty, if you look the book of Psalm 29 from verse 2, Wait on the Lord. He says, wait on the Lord. Psalm 27 from verse 14. Wait on the Lord and be courageous. Depression makes you to live like a, a, a slave. Unforgiving spirit is the key that makes you to remain in a perpetual poverty and sickness. If you forgive, you see yourself being free from all sickness. Being free from all calamities. Being free from everything of life. So forgiveness is the key that will make you not to be depressed in life. Number five. One of the things that makes us to be depressed in life is pride and lack of communication. Pride and lack of communication. If you are living with pride and you don't know how because of your pride, you see that you don't know how to communicate to people. Pride is a sickness that if you don't take time, you will remain depressed. Because when you are living in lack, I don't know how to communicate to people because of pride. You see yourself coming down. From there, you are depressed. <laughs> I think as human beings, God is advising us in the book of First Peter chapter 25 from 6, chapter 5. First Peter chapter 5 from 6 to 7. He said we should be humble. 
We should humble ourselves to the mighty hand of God. What do I mean? If you humble yourself to God and to man, that spirit of pride will leave you totally. The spirit of pride will leave you totally. So I advise you to be humble and leave pride and put your life in the hand of God. Therefore, finally, I want to advise you to leave pride and be humble in the hand of God and know how to communicate with people so that your life will progressively go high. And I want to lead you people this hour in a word short of prayer, a very short prayer for you to give your life to Christ. If your life is in the hand of Christ, there's no way you'll be depressed. If your life is in the hand of Christ, there's no way you will live in total poverty and lack. Even if there is poverty, you will have hope that at last your place will be a place of abundance and richness. So therefore, I declare this hour to your life. Every depression you are having, I cancel it now in the name of Jesus. I declare abundance and freedom in your life in the name of Jesus. I now, so the God of you that have not given your life to Christ, I declare, let your life, let your life shine now in the name of Jesus. I totally commit your soul to the hand of Jesus. Whatever thing you have done in the past, Christ has forgiven you. Go and sin no more. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I believe you are blessed with this few word of advice this morning. My name remains Pastor Gabriel Anya. You know, I did tell you that you will get motivated today on the show as always. And Pastor Gabriel Anya has done justice to this particular topic on our motivational base for the week, which is depression, it causes, and of course, how you can overcome it. And the Bible verse today was taken from the book of Psalm chapter 33, verse 6. And I did mention some of the causes of depression. He said uh, disappointment, poverty, over anger, unforgiving spirit, pride, and lack of communication. These are some that he mentioned that actually causes depression. And he also said there that um, be courageous, have hope that help. He also said that he also said there that you should be courageous, have hope that everything will be okay. And with God, everything will definitely be okay. It is a wrap on the show now. I wish I could stay, but before I leave, yes, we asked a question last week on the show, and we have some winners. Now, to be sure that you are a winner, make sure you check our scroller right now. The names of the winners will be on the scroller. I want to say thank you so much for watching the show. Thank you to God Almighty for making this production a wonderful one. Remember that I love you, but God loves you more. Whenever you're feeling down, whenever you're feeling depressed, whenever you feel like you want to give up on God, just know that God is waiting for you. He's right there. He's waiting. Just need to acknowledge that God is waiting and He will always be waiting for you. Okay, I leave you with this video coming in from I leave you with this video coming in from Sammy Wonders featuring Darlington Smart and together they are singing Obema. Till I come your way next week Sunday, my name is Miranda Alete and have yourself a blissful week. Bye bye.
Jehovah this man, the God of Sammy wonder. Your grace they make me smile, your love they make me wonder. Ah, I can make you 